Come on, get your lycra ass out of the way, will you? Cold as the fluff on a polar bear's chuff. It's an Olympic sport of the future. Well, you could look at a rectangular stone like this, and someone would say, well, it's not round. Hmm? It's rectangular. Will it skim? You know, Ron's outspoken. If some people don't like him as such, then I'm sure he's not really that bothered. But I like him, he's cool. Ish. He is quite forthright about things and yeah, sometimes has been a bit rude. Excuse me, you can fuck off. Oh, God, no, I haven't even got in the door yet, you obnoxious little git. I am the most decorated stone skimmer, yes, yes. That's the point I was trying to make, yeah? From the English Open, the British Open, and there's a couple from uh, the Swiss Open. So I think I've got somewhere in the region of 15,000 in the hope that they will eventually be, yeah? Incorporated into competitions. At an expenditure of 7,500 pounds, which I'm sitting on in the hope that one day somebody will take them. If they don't, well, the more fool I. These artificial stones have come in recently. Very controversial uh, debate there. They shouldn't be allowed, they should be allowed. Needs must, and if you want to skim stones, you've got to find them. Or buy them. <laughs> it's five, five pounds for five stones. <laughs> You'll just keep buying until you've won. <laughs> yeah, forever. I think we should have brought my checkbook. You've got a guy over from Holland. No skimming stones available in the whole of Holland, I don't think. There's a problem of Holland. We don't have stones. <laughs> yeah. But you have to go to Belgium or Germany or rivers or somewhere else. I tried to make them for myself out of uh, white cement. Well, it's, it's nice because this is the wheels open and this is a tournament, tournament you can uh, bring your own. So this is a good place for me. Two. The official old tosser, Ron. If you're going to talk to me about natural stone versus man-made, every time it will be natural. I guess part of the fun and the even part of the skill of it is finding the right rocks, so that's part of it. If you're talking about putting moulded concrete stuff into an environment where it shouldn't be in, I just think no. No, it shouldn't happen. You should use the stuff that's around the water. Well, I think it falls very neatly into two distinct camps, OK? Mm -hmm. There's Shiites and Sunnis, yeah? There's no talking, I don't think. 2016, when I won the British Championships, there was um, a guy who wanted to use artificial stones and they wouldn't let him, and there was a big hoo-ha about it, and he was going to take him to court, and so they get really funny about it. Every civilization has needed a few Philistines, hasn't it? in order to establish what is good and what isn't. I don't hold the, the patents on these shapes. There's a step in a direction. If somebody comes up with something better, good. Every one of them is a handmade product. Vibrating them to get rid of the air, consolidating them, and then hand finishing them, and they come out of the moulds at the end. Just in case you pop your clogs, Eric, yeah? <laughs> I'm, sto I'm storing them up, well, okay? Well, that's hmm? debatable. We don't know how long 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I use the artificial ones today, which I got used to quite quickly, and they're, they're good because you've got the same weight every time. I like them. They, they are more consistent. It saves you a bit of backache looking for stones. Skimming has a future where it remains enjoyable for everyone to take part in it, but there is perhaps becoming an elite set of skimmers, and hopefully that stretches the sport, if you like, if it is a sport. If you're going to enter into a sport, you should leave something behind. If you're taking it seriously and done your best to promote it, there should be something left behind. Yeah? I would hope that people could at least accept it, if not praise it. Ah, dear me, I'd make more money being a sperm donor and I was doctored in 1972. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't talk to me about it. Huh? <laughs> Why not? There should, there should be a, you, you should have a handicap competition where you have to drink a double scotch, then skim a stone, then drink a double scotch, skim a stone, and so on.